on the last video. No. This. And it's dead. Whew. After so many attempts, we did it. And so we continue. Hey there, guys. LOI Games, I'm back with some more Persona 4. Where we last left off, we defeated a big mini boss who really wasn't that hard. So now we're gonna move on. And I believe that there was actually a secret passage in this world uh, that we opened. So hopefully, I don't jump down that hole again. Because I'm trying to remember not to do that. So if we go up here, yeah, just keep on going straight, or left at this point, but I'm going to go straight. We will be turning the one direction that we can go, and then, yes we did. Let us. I wonder, is this actually going to be the fight with Yodachi? That would be interesting. Seems like it. What will I do? Of course, I have to save. Save successful. I shall proceed. I can tell that this is going to be a something I'm going to regret. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised you made it this far. Are you really? Allow me to confirm the crimes you've committed thus far. You had suspicions that this world was dangerous, yet you threw Mayumi Yamano into the TV. Knowing full well that Miss Yamano died here, you did the same to Saki Konishi. <sighs> Not only that, but you duped Namatame into taking over your murder attempts while you watched like a spectator at a game. That seems about right, yep. When the disappeared stopped dying, you sent a warning letter to ensure more victims. Yeah, a warning letter to me. Since you're the only one... Well, since you thought I was the only one really doing it. Even when a copycat killer arose, you had the gall as a detective to eliminate a suspect under investigation. Two people died in the last six months, and a young girl is now in critical condition. But that's not all. If at any turn something had gone wrong, many more would have succumbed. All for some foolish excitement, like a criminal reveling in the chaos he creates. That hit every point. Yeah? So what's your point? All I did was put people in here. It's the world that really kills them, isn't it? This world reflects people's thoughts. Which... Oh dear, does that mean the real culprits are everyone on the outside, including you? Don't try to turn this around. To hell with that! You did that stuff knowing full well those people were gonna die! That's not a crime, then what is? <laughs> You're so self-righteous. How can you say that? Aren't you a police officer? Out of everything you could have been, didn't you specifically choose to join the police? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Just because someone joins the police doesn't make them some kind of agent of justice. Uh, well... You know why I applied? You got a point. So I could legally carry a gun. That's all. You'd be surprised how many are like that. I thought it would be fun, too. But to tell the truth... That was a wash. Everyone around me was such an idiot. Though you acted like the dupe. I made one tiny mistake, and they all got on my case and sent me out here to Nowheresville as punishment. 
I was bored shitless and wondering what to do next when I discovered this power. For crying out loud! Why a bastard like you? And that's still a question that needs to be answered. Why him? A gift for having to put up with this lame job out in Nowheresville, I guess. I did that stuff because I could, and it got interesting, so I watched. That's your reason? You can't be serious! You really don't care what happens to our world? Let's be honest. There's nothing great about the real world, is there? It's just dull and annoying as hell. No one accepts that's the way things are. They're just stuck with it because they can't deny it either. Those who actually succeed in life, they just happen to be born with the magic ticket called talent. If you don't have it, you can either accept or deny that fact until you die. That's your only choice. Well, to be fair, he does have some points here and there. Once you realize that, all you have left in life is despair. The ultimate game over. Wouldn't it be better if that kind of reality was wiped away? That's complete BS! So what I'm getting is that he's trying to wipe everyone's quote-unquote talent away? Brats like you are so damn naive. You piss me off. Listen, you might have hopes and dreams right now, but that's only because you know nothing about reality. One day you'll see. You'll be faced with a boring reality that boxes you in, no matter where you go. You're the only boring thing here! And idiotic. If you want to disappear, go ahead! Stop dragging us into it! <sighs> Stop yelling, punk. I understand you're all afraid and gotta act tough to cover it up, but jeez. <laughs> I like how he said, Stop yelling, punk. Punk has <laughs> so much emphasis. And we're not acting tough, we are... Well, we are afraid, but acting tough is not to cover it up. I'm telling you all this based on my own experience in life. Think about it for a second. Once everyone turns into shadows, they'll still keep on living, oblivious to all the things around them. So how's that different from the way it is now? No, this will make things much easier for everyone. Easier? What the hell are you talking about? I wonder. Come on! How many people out there actually think about what's real, or what's right and wrong? Next to none, I bet. It's useless to think about those things in the first place. You don't get anything out of facing reality, and there's no way to change it either. I mean, what could be more boring than brooding over things you can't change? It's better to just ignore them and believe only what you want to believe in life. Doesn't that sound a lot easier? It would be awesome if everyone's life could be that easy. No matter who you are, your lifespan is about 80 years or so, right? Not really. Then it'd be easier if we all just became shadows. No need to hold back anything. No more pretending we don't see things. Honestly, we don't need our world anymore. Better to let it be swallowed up, and for mankind to turn into shadows. That's what all those people who are scared to death really want. So it's my duty to see that they get it. Nobody wants anything like that! It's just you, dumbass! Truly it is. Jeez, don't you remember what it was like when your shadow came out? Oh, nice smirk. It must have been enjoying life far more than you. I don't know what's happening! He's... powering up. Mm. You all saw shadows as mere monsters, didn't you? These things move on pure instinct. They go wild because you defy them. You annoying little brats are the ones who are wanted in the new world! Hmm. Shadow Adachi. Speak for yourself! Living is too painful for you, but you don't want to die? Of course no one would understand. It makes no sense. That's actually kind of true. You're just throwing a tantrum like a kid who can't have his way. Mm-hmm. People can't live alone. 
If you give in and sever your ties to human society, it will naturally become hard to live in it. Yet you refuse to face life and admit your fault, running from your own humanity like a coward. Burned. And though you claim to find life troublesome, you cause nothing but trouble for many others. Your twisted logic is that of an immature, egotistic brat. Oh, use the big words. Shut up! Stop trying to act all tough. You guys can't even stand on your own unless you deny everything I said. Stupid teenagers. You have no idea what kind of shit I've been through. Favored by the world, my ass. I'm gonna say it flat out. You're just a worthless criminal! Here he comes. This will probably be our last battle. Let's hit him with everything we've got! Right, but I don't want to die, so... Let's go! So everyone protect me, but hit him with everything you got. The world is about to change! Your existence won't belong there! I thought I could just leave you be, but you're like a plague! I'll have to get rid of all of you! What was that? <laughs> you're the plague! <laughs> Sick comeback. We if we work together, there's no chance we could lose to a man like this. Shut up! Get lost! Get the hell out of my sight! I can't believe he's the one! That bastard! We can't lose, no matter what! Alright, so this would actually be useful here, so let's do that. Next up is... okay. God's hand. Type of damage that we do. I know it's just one person, but let's see what damage this can do. Megadolion? Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Then let's do Augudine. Hmm. Heat Riser? Oh, he got a critical, didn't he? And... Oh, that's not critical, I mean. A persona? But that can't be! Not just that, but didn't that look like Izanagi? But just... A bad version? Okay, uh, do I have a Rakunda? Yes, this is an Agi does. So I might wanna actually... Here we go. Put that on yourself. Let's do Blight. Oh, that missed. You just attack. There we go. Warple Blade. Whoa! That was a scary turn of events, guys. We'll do this again. Alright, so... She's power charged, and his defense is low, so... 360. Alright, I got it. I'll have Yukiko heal us up. I'm doing some really good damage. Good. Everything's good. Uh oh. Not good. Yeah, that was not good. <laughs> alright, so. Alright, I'll do a smart next time. What I'll do is that I'll put Rakunda on him first. And I'll do that. So I'll see you guys back at that boss fight. We are